Tony Carita here with Chris Kantrowitz from Gobbler. Chris, how the heck are you? I gotta say, pretty great. Um, let's talk a little bit about Gobbler integration into Pro Tools. Yeah. So with 10, Pro Tools 10.33, you can now um, export directly to Gobbler, you can back up directly to Gobbler, you can send files directly to Gobbler. And then one of the other neat things that just launched with uh, the integration is this thing called Gobbler Collect, where um, Gobbler can look into the session file to know where all of the associated files are. So if you, let's say you have samples and a wide variety of folders, instead of actually having to do a collect on your main drive, we can actually do that virtually for you in the cloud. So you don't actually have to move your files around your main drive. We just do that automatically for you. So that's a huge time saver. And plus, you don't have to have redundant files and save and uh, take up all this excess space. That's exactly. great. And plus, for, all, for, for those of you who are not using Gobbler yet, you should be. And when you back up to Gobbler, what's really amazing is that this can keep running in the background, just like a local tape backup, right? right? And if you do another awesome guitar solo, or you punch in that part you couldn't get with the vocals last night, it, um, it'll just back that up. You don't right. have to back up the entire session. You don't have to do, you know, right. grab a file and get all weird and tweaky about it. It just knows. Yeah, and, and what's cool is that, you know, it, it will take snapshots for you with a date and time. So if you just go, oh man, I wish I had that version from whatever date and time, you can literally click that date and time and Gobbler will recreate it for you right there. And then the other thing that's neat too is I, you know, oftentimes people say, well, you know, I don't know if I want to have something running in the background while I'm recording. So Gobbler actually has a throttle feature. So you can set the level of aggressiveness for Gobbler. So you can either set it to not run at all when it detects that you're working in Pro Tools, or to detect when you've taken moments of rest, let's say for a couple of minutes. Or if you have some massive file that you're uploading, and, but you want to keep working at the same time, you can just set it to max, and Gobbler will run in the background automatically. So we give you the option to decide you know, whether it's running or not. But in the meantime, we're, all, we're just keeping an eye on the snapshot so that when you do say, OK, run, we can start backing up for you so you don't lose anything. And then you can use it also sim simply just as a, a file transfer tool. So if yeah. you want to send me a session to work on, you can simply, e and it comes up via email like you would do with other yes. file transfer services. That's right. And some of the neat things about Gobbler are one, um, there's no file size limitations. So if you have a 25 gigabyte project, go for it. You know, um, And Gobbler also handles uh, sending the file packets for you so you don't have to do any zip compression. Uh, in fact, so when you send a folder to someone, when they download it, it comes back as a folder on the other side. So you don't have to worry about, you know, did I unzip the file? Is this the right file? We handle all of that for you. Um, and then we also have a public link feature. So if you don't want to send a project to someone where they have you know, a, a Gobbler account, you can just click a box, send it as a public link, and they can just download it through a browser. So we've kind of made a number of different features for people to use Gobbler however they want to. So if, 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 if someone's really concerned with security of sending these files over the internet, what, what, how do you guys protect them? Well, there's a couple things uh, with Gobbler. One, um, Gobbler has multi-factor authentication. So just to protect your own account, you'll have your username, your password, and then another password that changes every minute, you know, either using a Google Authenticator do uh, dongle or some other device, so that even if someone does actually manage to get your username and password, if they don't have the dongle for your Gobbler account, they won't have access to it. Uh, the second thing that's actually kind of unique about Gobbler is, as it relates to cloud solutions is that Gobbler actually encrypts your files on the client side. So uh, most cloud solutions have a, an encrypted connection from the client side to the server and then do the encryption on the server side. We do it on the client side. So when you're sending files through Gobbler, you're actually sending encrypted files over an encrypted network. So you actually have two levels of encryption for the files. Um, and that stops what's known as a man in the middle attack. So basically, if someone was sniffing your, your, your network trying to get access to your files, they wouldn't be able to. So uh, yeah, we take security really seriously. So anytime we could add a layer of encryption or a password or whatever, you know, we'll always tend to do that. Excellent. Well, um, what else do we have to talk about here? We've got. How about, why don't you tell us how, what does it take to get a Gobbler account and how much do they cost? Well, um, I know at the uh, show here, uh, Avid's offering a free 50 gig account for two months, and. Um, just to check it out. And then Gobbler accounts are always free, actually. And I, I think there's probably somewhere on avid.com that you can sign up for it. Or actually, if you're just in Pro Tools 10.3.3, when you go to use Gobbler for the first time, if you don't have an account, you can just click a button and it'll take you to the page for sign up. Um, and that's really the best way to do it, is just right out of the Pro Tools. It's super easy. Excellent. Cool. Well, if you guys um, are not using Gobbler, definitely check it out. Uh, you need Pro Tools 10.33. It's a free upgrade for, um, it's a free update for anybody using Pro Tools 10 or later. 
And um, definitely check out Gobbler. Chris, thanks for your time. Thank you. Um, go to gobbler.com if you want to read up on more. Uh, go to avid.com forward slash Pro Tools to find more information about Pro Tools. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you online.